Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use Zendrop for Shopify store in 2023. So today we're gonna drive or dive into the world of course of dropshipping by exploring the Zendrop, which is a robust platform that streamlines product sourcing and order fulfillment for you. So if you're ready to enhance your dropshipping game, stick around and let's uncover the step-by-step -step process of using Zendrop with your Shopify store. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with it. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, just go to this URL section. Basically, here we'll have to type zendrop.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this should take you into the home screen or main screen of Zendrop. So, if you know something about it, just go and you have an account, just go and log into your account. If you don't, you'll have to go and create your account, click on create your account for free. And of course, you can watch this simple video to just understand on how Zendrop is working or familiarize or just have a general idea on about it. You can even scroll down and read more information about this example. You can see what people are saying about it. And yeah, you can, I guess, even find the frequently asked questions. So if you're interested on one of those questions, I'll just open the answers out, post the video and read like the question and even the answer by your own. And yeah, for me, I'll just go here and click on log into my account because I already have an account. And for you, just go and do whatever you have. If you have an account, log into it. If you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account. So let me just go here and click on login. And as you can see, this will basically just take me into my uh, dashboard right away. So once you just like uh, log into your account or even create your account, they'll tell you or tell you to connect to your Shopify store. Like they come straight to the point without any problem for you. You'll have just to go and add the Shopify store URL in here and click on connect. Or if you don't have any store, you can, of course, just click on let us build your store for $1. If you want to do that, that's cool for you. If you don't, whatever you want. So for me, I'll just go and do I'll connect later ETM. Of course, in here, that's going to be your dashboard. You'll be able to do everything in here. Of course, if you don't know nothing about this, of course, yeah, you can just keep clicking on stuff and like learning about it. It's very easy. You will get used to it in less than uh, one hour. So what we'll need to do now is just go and open a new tab. Go to the Shopify app store. So go to shopify.com. And in here, we'll have to go, of course, and click on login into our account. If you have an account, if you don't, we'll have to click on start free trial to create a new account. If you don't know nothing about Shopify, you can scroll down again, read more information about this website to familiarize yourself with it. And yeah, for me, I'll just go here and click on login. And this will log me right into uh, my store because I'm already like, logged in before, so I don't have to enter my credentials over and over. And of course, in here, I have two options to connect to Zendrop. I can go to the apps and click on all recommended apps to get this and click on Shopify app store to get in the Shopify app store. In here, of course, I can simply look for Zendrop and click on that. I'll find the app in here. So just go and click on that, then install the app and etc. So, or instead, of course, instead of all of that, so let's just go and click on install or before. Let's just go and set as an example. You can go to this list panel, click on settings here at the bottom, and go basically to your domains. And here you'll find the domain name of your store. Just go and click on that. Copy that URL. Sorry, so copy that URL from here. Go back to Zendrop, and here at the top left corner, click on connect my store. Enter that URL in here and click on connect. Once you do so, they'll basically take you to the same place, as I said, in here. So you have the same pages. So you can do it with the URL, or you can do it with downloading the app by your own, whatever you want, whatever you like. Of course, if you're going to download it, make sure that this app will access the customer and store information and will, if necessarily, edit the customer and store information. So if you agree to all of that, you can even read the data privacy and developer privacy policy. Go and click on install app. Once you do so, you'll have to wait a bit, like 10 to 15 seconds until everything is downloaded. Then the page will load by its own. So let's just wait that out until everything is done. 
and we'll be taken now to this page as you can see so as you can see they take us to the Zendrop page with my store in here if I click on it they'll take me to the Shopify store that means everything is connected so I can close all of that go back here to Zendrop the first page as you can see I'll still have here connects my store but if I refresh normally as you can see yeah I'll find my store already connected now that we connected our stores so our Shopify now is connected to Zendrop we'll be able now to uh, browse and import products you can so you can explore Zendrop catalog of products browse through various categories select products you wish to sell and effortlessly import them to uh, your Shopify store so example here you can go and click on find products an example uh, I don't know I like this brush so just go and click on that and I'll just go here and click on add to my products so if I go now to my products in here I'll find this one in here so you can go and click on review and publish as you can see so you can change the name type collection tags description variants images you can change everything that you want about it once you finish go simply click on publish to my store please read inventory this product shows 50,000 units in inventory in your store this is just a placeholder since we do not have real-time inventory from the factories we buy products from so production of course production uh, cycle delay so when you first start selling a product it might take longer than the normal which is one to three days to ship and this is normal and should not happen once you start selling regularly so by clicking on confirm you agree that you have read and accept the above conditions and if you got it please don't display this message again if you don't want to display this message again just check this option and click on confirm once you click on publish as you can see you'll find that that is publishing once it's published you'll be you will know that it's published and you'll find it on your shopify store without any problems so and other than that of course in the dashboard in here you'll be able to see basically everything here you'll be able to see the orders so basically you'll have to browse through all of that and check everything by your own and see if uh, or just familiarize yourself with it as an example and you'll get used to it or like very very fast once you find published in here you can go now to your shopify go to your products and you'll definitely find the products is imported in there of course it's still publishing at the moment so you'll not find it in here until this like is published once it's published you can go to your shopify store go to your products and refresh and you'll find us right there and you'll be good to go so basically after that you'll have to organize your products automate the order fulfillment track shipments and order status and even optimize the marketing customer service and this is going to be it so that's going to be it for our video thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and yeah that's it so goodbye